What is up, y'all? This is the link. I am back with another video. Uh, today I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna today. I'm just gonna do something and do something different today. I'm gonna be reviewing my Genshin Impact account one year later. Uh, well, not exactly. Well, it hasn't been exactly a year. Well, we know that Genshin is almost two years old, and uh, but I've only started to uh, to be to actively play about like 1.5 when was the sh the second Zhongli rerun. And I know because like I think I remember doing a ten pool once, and hold on, uh, and I and in that ten pool, I I got I lost my fifty fifty, and it was a Chi Chi. I, I lost it to fit. Uh, I lost it to Chi Chi, but I also got Yanfei in the same ten pool, and then I saved that uh, guaranteed for Kazu, and I saved that guaranteed for Kazuha. But basically, like that ten pool, like single handedly, like what made me uh got back in the Genshin. I'm not. I think the most. I mean, actually, the, like, the reason why, because, like, we may be a ridiculous one, because, like, I wanted to make use of that 5-star, so I wanted to, like, and also been, like, thinking of going back into Genshin at that time, so I thought, why not? And also, like, maybe trying to check out this, like, this cheat or something, I don't know, I mean, it's hard to explain, it's hard to explain why. But yeah, basically, uh, it's basically, uh, during 1.5, I pretty much start playing Genshin actively again. And I actually can't remember when I got that Chongli. I can't remember if it's a standard banner pool or a um uh, a banner pool, like an event banner pool. And the Rosaria and Razor came from the Kazuha banner. Eventually, I built up pity to get Kazuha guaranteed first and current main. Anyway, so I'm just going to go review the build. So this is my uh, Kazuha 5084. It's kind of a hybrid, uh, hybrid DPS and... Uh, Elemental mastery support, so that's like those are my builds. I I think this is how this works. Like the account uh, reviews, they go uh, they review your builds. Fourteen uh, attack, fourteen rate, fifteen attack, seven point eight damage. So yeah, this was uh this was a this was a hybrid DPS and EM build. As you can see, I have a hundred three EM <laughs> on that a feather right there, as well as fourteen crit damage to go along with it. EM 187 though that used to be uh, this one right here that my, my sucre is currently adding so that 77 EM and elemental I switched it out for elemental mastery after getting uh, hold up how much was that yeah because I think I had like a lot of a uh, bunch of attack percentage so just to keep that sub DPS hybrid DPS EM support so leech is 187 and then animal damage boat animal damage gauntlet with se with 72 EM so that's pretty decent uh, in my standards. And the odd one out is a glad finale, glad finale circlet, crit, 31 crit rate, 56 EM, and some 12 crit damage. Yeah, it's still uh, C0. Uh, I don't really plan, it's currently Kazuo's banner, and but I don't pa plan to pull any uh, constellations. I'm saving my primos for Yoimiya, and oh, sorry, uh, Child's in the party, by the way. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, triple crown Kazuha because he's like my, he's my, uh, pretty much my main, so I got to oh yeah. And a uh, sacrificial sword, though at one point, I, although I had like an, an R5 iron sting because, you know, uh, EM support. But I also wanted to like, uh, I, right now I have a sack, a sack sword on my Kazuha because uh, he does like, uh, like a lot more damage. This is like poor for the damage. It sacrifices a bit on the EM, but at least it shreds a bit more damage. And there's my Raiden Shogun build. You I'm pretty sure you all know about when I uh, danced the uh, specialist from Persona 4 to pull Raiden. So yeah, level 90. Uh, the catch R5 got it off like stream or something. Let's do it like a build review. Um, I tried to like uh, put stack some crit substats and energy recharge. Uh -huh. You're gonna hear me like, uh, you might hear me some uh, crunching along the way because I'm, I'm a little hungry, so I'm having some sky flakes right now. <laughs> but yeah, 2.7 crit rate, uh, 16.2 energy recharge, 21 crit damage, 18 crit damage, uh, 5.8 ER. I just need, I'm, I'm prioritizing like, mm, I might could like, oh yeah, I might, I might end up switching out some. Oh, you might tell me to like maybe switch out some, but like I need the I need the crit I need the the crit damage and the ER. So uh, ER stands for uh, my right in here. Crit rate at nine point three attack. Eleven point one. It's not the best, but um, I'm pretty good with this. I'm fine with this. 
Electro Cup is a 17 dam damage and 7, seven rate. And uh, my circlet is a 14 crit damage with a 31% crit rate. Uh, C0 obviously still. Uh, triple crown as well. And there's my Tartaglia. I remember pulling Tartaglia like uh, during a, uh, a presentation on an online class. So like, <laughs> like while I was like listening in into the presentation, I was like booting up Genshin in my phone and like pulling Tartaglia. <laughs> but at the same time, I also got Aloy because uh, she was a free giveaway in two point during two point two. So yeah, Amos bow on my Tartaglia, oh, yeah, level eighty one by the way. And my artifacts, uh, twenty one. Uh, and in six, uh, twenty one on the f on the feather. Hold up, yeah, twenty one on the feather. Attack sense with a crazy twenty nine point five crit damage is like my best right there. Best artifact, one of my best artifacts. Hydro damage with crit damage and crit rate though. My I swapped. Uh, I think I had. I think uh, my eye toll has held up. Where was it? Ah. So yeah, this actually this used to belong to Tartaglia, but I gave it to Aito. So they kind of swapped for uh, just to like, keep things balanced, you know, just maybe keep them uh, so it can be equally useful. And the crit rate, uh, yeah, pretty bad, you know, 19 defense, but like uh, I'm pretty good with that. Still C0, and not exactly like triple nine. I could have like maybe spent some time to like upgrade this, but like I chose not to. For some reason, but like I'm pretty good with that. So anyway, this is my uh, Hu Tao uh, weapons, uh, Dragon's Bane uh, EM. This go for a Vaporize build. See so, yeah, Hydro Pyro. So this is a more of a Vaporize Hu Tao. 19.4 uh, crit damage on the flower. 20. Yeah, that's that's like one of my best uh, characters in Genshin in terms of like uh, crit damage. I think if if that's how it's uh, explained. But yeah, pretty much at least uh, like around the 20 mark, the 20 crit damage mark and like each of these artifacts. Uh, HP Sans though, I must admit, this used to be uh, Hu Tao's old <gasps> Sans like before I knew what like she actually scales off of HP and it was actually a pretty, and as a, it was a worth investment. A funny thing here is that um, I didn't do much farming just to get this HP goblet. No, not goblet, uh, Sans. Because, but I just have, because I had the, the, like, the crazy, um, the crazy crit damage, um, substat. Like, I just, I didn't really use it to, like, upgrade. So, I didn't have to, didn't have to do much investment. So, while I was browsing my artifacts and maybe work on my, to, like, fix my Hu Tao a bit, I just had this, uh, this, uh, rogue HP uh, sands with crit damage. So, I thought maybe give it a try and it just happened to roll to 22.5 crit damage. So, thank gosh, it saved about a week's worth of resin. And we got the Pyro Cup crit damage with the crit rate, pretty good ratio there, as well as a bunch of HP. Uh, this used to this used to be Hu Tao's old artifact, old pyro old pyro damage uh, goblet. Yeah, it's not a lot, not a lot of HP right there, like 7.9, but still. But hey, this is a thank God I my me I thank gosh I made a better one. And the Witch Scorching Hat crit rate 31 21 crit damage. Now, this is like this is this artifact here. So remember uh, Hu Tao's uh, rerun in, in about in like last October was it? Um, I tried to pull for Hu Tao, uh, but I only ended up getting Thoma. So, but I didn't understand Thoma's kit. So I went to the Crimson Witch of Flames domain just to build Thoma for Copium. But when I rolled this crit rate. Uh, when I rolled this, uh, when I got this artifact, and it all went to crit, and uh, most of it went to crit damage. I was like, "Oh my Hu Tao this is So like, I pretty much wait. I I blew all my primos until I finally got Hu Tao, and that's basically like a a, a 50 50 streak of three. I don't want to jinx it for Yoi Mia, and uh, th oh, yeah, sorry. So we're not gonna go into order anymore because of like how for some reason it's. Order here. So this is my uh, newest uh, addition to the roster, Arataki Ito, uh, all level nine defense, white blind, husk of opulent dreams. So yeah, twenty one uh, though with the flat defense for some reason, but I'll take it. Nineteen point four crit damage, 
feather. Now that one is like a really bad one because uh, actually this used to be his old artifact, his old defense uh, sands with the 6.2. So when I actually I got actually got this earlier the day of recording this. So when uh when I got that, so I I pretty much spent uh, as much uh, artifact as I, I, I use as much artifact as I could to sp uh what's this to to level this up to level 20, but it all, none of it went. To 7.8. Oh my gosh. None of it went to crit damage. So I'm still I'm still working on my Ito. Uh, Geo damage bonus is 23.3. So yeah. That's uh, I actually uh, had. That uh, that used to belong to my Zhongli. But then I switched it out for some maybe a bit. At least there's a bit of energy recharge. It's. Uh, it could have maybe a d uh, dealt a bit more damage. You know with the burst. But like my Zhongli is more of a shield support. So it didn't really matter to me. But. I just saved this Geo Damage Cup instead, in in case I needed it, and I did. So Ito has it, but this one's I'm not really proud of. It was my only crit rate Husk of Opulent Dream Circlet, and yeah, they're all flat stats, like 78 attack, and it's all flat. So yeah, I'm. This is like a reason why I'm still farming for Ito's artifacts, and this one show. I also did. I also did. Uh, d uh did uh the Persona Four Specialist for this one. Uh, Primordial Jade Spear though it's still at 80 but yeah I think actually I think I remember uh, in an old uh, very old Genshin Steam I think I rolled in the standard banner ended up getting the pri the Primordial Jade Spear without knowing it was Shao's weapon and when I did so yeah I wanted to get Shao because like he was on like my, my wanted list uh, when I got back during but though I pretty much had to like save my primos until I had to get Shao so I pretty much gave into temptation because like yeah that's how I got my Kazuha, Raiden Child, uh, Hu Tao, and, and eventually I managed to get uh, Xiao, thank gosh. Though he was a guaranteed but I'll explain that later. <clears throat> Alright so this is actually a very, uh, actually just recently swapped out his uh, some of his artifacts. So this is like the same artifacts I think. Yeah uh, none of it has changed really, I never bothered farming for the uh, Vermilion Hereafter. It wasn't my pri primary target, and I still had some uh, uh very decent. Yeah, Vermilion Hereafter was for like, but I didn't really bother farming for that because I went for Echoes of an Offering, but I'll explain that later as well. But yeah, mostly the same artifacts. My the only new addition is the crit damage um, uh, uh circlet. Uh, I think I still have. Yeah, this was actually this was used to be Shao's old my Shao's old uh circlet. But then I swapped it out for this one because I had a bit more crit rate for that a bit of consistency. This one, you're pretty sure I'm pretty sure you all saw the video. I wet my socks for Aika. 48, 242. Uh, pretty much my my best Genshin character so far. In terms of like damage consistency, so basically about almost 90 uh, crit rate because of the um, the uh, the 90 crit. Yeah. Because of the, the the piece, the four piece. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, and I'll like, let me explain the uh, miss splitter reforge. So during Ayaka's banner, I for some reason like once again gave into temptation. Thought maybe like maybe that a single ten pull wouldn't hurt. Eventually, I started pulling until I got the the unforged. So like ah, that's not funny, me Hoyo. So I pretty much blew all my wishes, and until I got the miss splitter. So. But thankfully, Ayaka's banner was extended, so I had a lot of time to financially recover from this. So, but at least I got two other uh, five cool 5-star weapons, so one of them is actually really cool, the other one is not. But yeah, this is probably the, might be the last time I roll on the weapon banner. It's like, maybe, maybe the last time, but not anytime soon. Anyway, so let's get to the artifacts. 14 crit damage, 6 crit rate. 12 crit damage, 10 crit rate. So yeah, I had to like stack crit rate here. 21 crit damage with a 9.7 on the cryo cup. And crit damage with a 9.3 crit rate. So yeah, pretty good Ayaka right here. C0 obviously and triple crowned. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the uh, talents here. I still need one more Ashen Heart from Senora and I'm all out of green solvent. So I need to save my Mora to level up this Ito to get him triple nine. And triple eight for on Shao though. Anyway, so this is my Ayato. So funny story, like I did not actually try to get this character, 
But I ended up doing about five pulls. Just to join in the festivities. Like, everyone was, like, pulling... Everyone I knew, like, when they were pulling for Ayato and Venti left and right, I thought maybe I'll do a... Like, five pulls would it hurt. And then eventually I got Ayato. So I pretty much had to make use of this guy. But hey, uh, this this thanks to this guy... Uh, Alright, Boba. <laughs> so thanks to this guy, I pretty much wanted to get, like... Now I want to get all the Inazuma five stars. So the only ones I'm missing now are Yai, Miko, and Kokomi. So I still need Hazel, even though he's not a 5-star, but maybe get all the Inazuma characters. So, nay, level 90 Ayato, Aminoma Kageuchi. Uh, pretty much, uh, I wish I had the Jade Cutter for this guy, though. But this is my preferred uh, weapon for Ayato. Uh, this actually used to be a 4-piece Echoes of an Offering. But then one day, I was just chilling in a tavern and, like, showing off my Ayato build. There was some, th there was this one guy that went, like... No, he went he went crazy over seeing my Aito build. Cause I for some reason cause not only that, cause hold up. This was I my Aito's old Sands of Eon. I was I was the 5.9% that ran an HP Sands for Aito. And the guy in the tavern, he was like he went all crazy. It was like, oh man. But like even I even I was not satisfied. That's why I was like trying to refarm the uh the the peak of the Dagner domain for Hydra artifacts. I still had some lying around though. It was this was this actually this attack uh sand this attack sands right here and a crit rate um uh, crit rate circle at least so at least at least it's not anymore echoes of an offering and it's not HP percentage anymore. Still C zero and triple nine my, this is my Zhongli right here, so it's still at level 81 though. But I'm running a shield support Zhongli base attack 42. So HP 20. And yeah, I'm, yeah, it's mostly an HP focused build. This is the odd one out, the uh, the, the, the feather because it had 15 HP, 15 H, 15% HP increase. Uh, I th this was his old uh, feather. 9.9 .9, but with a 17 crit damage, but like I wasn't going for damage. I was going for shields And yeah, mostly stacking HP. I had a bit of uh, energy recharge at least and A bit of crit rate from the sub stats. That's not a lot It's only 2562 Still see zero. Yeah, I've only I never really bothered like che uh, checking out or leveling up the other talents not even his normal attacks, like, cause I only went for shields, and I should have. I wish I maybe like farmed, uh, farm more talents for his. I will have order ulti. <laughs> All right, so this is my Sing Show. I've actually been uh, trying to farm. I've been trying to get this character since uh, Tartaglia banner because like, I still still trying to uh, get a grasp of Genshin mechanics for a while, so I didn't really pay much attention to the meta. So I pretty much like instead like uh so I remember pulling for like you should get Singcho but I went for Tartaglia. It's like I have Tartaglia right now. I think I'll get Singcho sometime. Like I didn't need a Singchu uh, at that time, but eventually uh Singchu was the only five star, uh, the only four star I didn't have. So I had to like eventually when I had no one to build, I went pre farmed uh Singchu's artifacts, Sack Sword, Emblem of Severed Fate. Um, I have to say, like, uh, it is actually the best, uh, energy recharge, um, this is, uh, one of his best artifact. 33 energy recharge, crit rate, crit damage, not a lot, energy recharge, sands, hydro damage with 20 crit damage and 17.5 ER, 31 crit rate, obviously, and with 70, sorry, not 70, 7 crit damage, 7% crit damage, so it's a 46, 102, uh, thankfully I have C2, but they were... They were all like from the free giveaways. The only Sync Cho that, that I got from a poll was the one that unlocked Sync Cho in my account. So the other two, uh, I got this constellation in the Lantern Rite where it gave you a free leeway 4 star. And the C2 was given at um, the, um, the uh, Iridori Festival like when you do all the quests so they give you a free Sync Cho. 499, so yeah, pretty much my a good Sync Cho right here. And I remember Barbara used to be on my main team. Oh, I accidentally closed my menu there. Anyway, so 
26 points. I used to run a DPS Barbara for some reason, like unironically, but I mean, I was still trying to get a grasp of Genshin mechanics, so, and it didn't really uh, uh I'm not sure if I could say low investment. I mean, even they, they some of the old my old characters were low investment. But like since I started to like grow my collection, uh Barbara, I haven't really touched Barbara in a while until recently just to have like maybe a healer while grinding Ito's artifacts. So yeah, that's uh tried to stack some HP. But like I wasn't really using Barbara much, so I didn't really care much about her artifacts. I but I remember I think he used to run uh, she used to run um it's uh she still has the the maiden beloved, but I think hydro damage bonus uh heart of depth two piece at one point. So yeah, prototype amber. So at least I have some HP stacked. C three at least, and uh, yeah, pretty uh, average talents, you know. Hey, this is I'm not sure what to say about the last one. Anyway, uh, Bennett. All right, Bennett. Uh, so yeah, Skyward Blade. So this was the other weapon that I got while pulling for the Mist Splitter, and yeah, uh, at least I had a Skyward Blade for my Bennett artifact. So I mostly had to stack energy recharge here. Um, uh, crit rate, crit damage with some energy recharge in the flower, as well as some, yeah, crit rate, crit damage, crit rate damage, ER, this feather, crit rate, crit damage on the, the ER sands, yeah, I was pretty lucky, if I could say, if I say so myself, pretty lucky to, uh, crit rate, uh, within some HP, so at least an additional healing, and the pyro damage cup, 12, crit damage, ER, is at 16, C3, uh, they better uh, put toggleable constellations, though I think I have an explanation for that. I'm not sure. I think I might make a video on that. Like, on why. Like, I have a theory on why Mihoyo, uh, Hoyoverse will, will probably not add uh, toggleable constellations, but I'll explain. I might explain that if I'm at the time to make that video. Still trying to write the script, though. Uh, Talents, I only focused on like uh, the ulti, so I only needed to like level 9 the, the Fantastic Voyage, the ulti. But yeah, pretty good Bennett. And I remember, yeah, Shangling was also another old character. She used to be in my old team. I plan to like maybe um, rebuild her at some point once I get maybe a Wavebreaker spin. Because I used to run a physical DPS Shangling. So yeah, that's why she has the Crescent Pike for physical damage, and it was Pale Flame, rebuilding my Shangling, so crit rate ER. Yeah, at least at least there's a 25 crit damage attack feather, so maybe in the far future when I get Yule at one point, maybe I can put, uh, put maybe give these artifacts to her. Crit rate, crit damage with the attack, and physical damage with some ER. Do I think I have her old, uh... Physical damage cup, yeah, it's right here. Crit rate 3.9, but with some 84 EM. Do I feel like I might need, might uh, use that on someone else at some point? I'm not sure who or when that kind of character will come out. And crit damage, yeah, crit damage. Um, what's this? Crit damage goblet? No, not goblet. <laughs> Circlet, because I had a lot of crit rate stacked from the sub stats, so. It's a 36 to 151 ratio. It's not a lot in my opinion. It could be better. Anyway, uh, full C6 and 91111. 11. Oh man, what did I just say? <laughs> so yeah, mostly a physical DPS shangling. And I was the, and anyways, like moving on to Aloy, I'm the, the, the low, I was like the 100 players in, in the entire world that unironically built their Aloy, though I did not manage, I did not get to like uh, fully ascend mine though. Royal broke, Royal Bow, because I want to like stack some crit. And actually uh, some of Ayaka's artifacts, they used to belong to Aloy, but I still had some spare artifacts lying around, so I gave them those to Aloy, so you know, maybe if I want to run Aloy because for the lols in the future, I can be, I, I, at least I have a build ready. So yeah, some of these used to belong to uh, some of some of these uh, artifacts, so they went to Ayaka. But yeah, some an ER because I think I might she might excel as a burst support, but the attack wish she, she also has the normal attacks thing. But attack sense is already with Ayaka, so I just wanted energy recharge to maybe get up some cryo damage burst. And a cryo cup crit 13 crit not a lot and the crit damage yeah 15.2 HP percent. 
3.93 crit rate. <laughs> Not the best, but thank gosh I eventually got a better crit damage circuit for my Ayaka. Obviously a C0 because uh, Aloy does not have constellations and talents 877 so it's not really like a, a perfect Aloy build, it's not a fully invested Aloy build because I eventually benched her but still made her usable. And Sayu, this she which was a character I wanted to build at, uh, at one point so I used to run the sacrificial, I, used to, I, I thought I'd try to make her like DPS or something for some reason. I still have maybe like average artifacts. Yeah, I think from this point on, most of the artifacts are pretty much going to be average or under leveled. C2 Sayu, uh, 6. Uh, yeah, pretty much that. All 6. And I remember I used to have Traveler on my team. <coughs> I'm running out of voice here. Physical damage. So she was another physical uh, DPS I had in my team before I. Uh, uh, alongside. I, th I think I remember my yeah my old team used to be uh, Traveler, Shangling, Barbara, and Kazua. Then Raiden came around, so I pl replaced Lumine with Raiden. Artifacts, though, these are not her original artifacts. I just put them on Lumine because why not? No bless and and attack uh, artifacts. It's not the best uh, crit rate and crit damage, but like at least it future proofs for like other elements, so it does not have to focus on like a specific artifact set or build. For that specific element, for example, I think Emblem Severe Fate works on Electro Lumine. Though no one really builds Traveler, and I think I'm just go good with an Elemental Burst uh, Noblesse. And and I didn't really uh, try to farm artifacts for Lumine, I just had these extra artifacts lying around while mixing and matching them with my other characters. C6, Geo though. I just like maybe set it back to Geo because. Yeah, for, for the memories, because right now it's the Golden Apple Archipelago. And, alright, so, uh, before, after I pulled Zhongli, I wanted to build my Ayaka. So, my friend uh, on Discord suggested, uh, yeah, a Discord guy suggested that I build Diona for Cryo Battery. So, I did just that. Sacrificial Bow for Energy Recharge, and I did Noblesse. So, I mostly had to, like, stack HP and Energy Recharge. It's not, like, a highly invested uh, Diona. Not really a high investment, but at least there was a C4. Talents 2, 8, 11. So yeah, it's not really a fully built Diona. It does its job just fine, just not at its maximum capacity or potential. And Beidou, I think I also remember wanting to use Beidou at one point. Prototype, I used to run a uh, prototype archaic on her. But right now I just decided to put the Unforged on her because I think she's uh, pretty good with that. Artifacts, uh, Emblem, Severed Fate. I think some of these artifacts used to belong to my uh, old Raiden build from like way back in the day from like the the, the, the version 2.1 specialist you know I'm learning about Genshin and my channel's popping off stuff. Electro damage, yeah, you can just like get a good look at those for yourself. Uh, C3698. And there's my Lisa. Yeah, it's, yeah most of these characters are not even like Really fully built, or maybe they just have like, a bunch of artifacts for them. Uh, Chi Chi right there, tenacity. Just maybe just check it out if you want to. So yeah, yeah. I wasn't really trying. To, I think I remember trying to build for some of these characters at one point, but then eventually I gave up halfway. So now my sucrose. I did try to pull. Uh, I did try to uh, build sucrose at one point because after getting Aito. I had to like be cautious with my rolls because I wanted to get Venti, but then, then a guy on Discord also suggested I maybe just build Sucrose instead for at least some decent uh, substitute for Venti. So I kind of did just that. I wasn't really quite happy with it, you know. And also because I didn't really uh, plan to use Sucrose that much. So yeah, under uh, invested artifacts. Yeah, she's uh, currently holding Kazuha's old uh, goblet. EM and EM C6 though, talents and my Kaya. I think he also used to be in my old team before I switched him out for Kazuha. ER, I, I actually can't remember what his, I think this was his old uh, weapon. I actually can't remember like what was the old build I had for Kaya. But I just maybe put some extra artifacts I had on, on, on characters I don't really use. C1 and 433. 
Okay, so this is uh, all right. So uh, so I remember during uh, how we got Jean was during Albedo's rerun in two point three alongside Yula. I accidentally hit the triangle and then did a ten pull, and it went to a five star. So no, please not Albedo, please not Albedo, and it was a Jean. So that's how I got my guaranteed for Kazuha. But I thought maybe now that I had some um. I had some like uh, extra artifacts with Shao lying around. I thought maybe I'd try and start building jeans, so I did just that. Uh, Favonia store, it's not really a high investment, really. It's like, oh, yeah, I, th I think this also used to belong to my old Kazuha DPS build. Yeah, so I think some of these art artifacts uh, used to belong to Kazuha. I will accept the cup and the uh, crit rate. Uh, well, I actually, no, uh, I think Kazuha did have an, his own uh, circlet. And then I, of course, swapped it out for the 56 EM gl uh, glad. Oh yeah, C1, because I think I got uh, my second Jean when I was pulling in the Zhongli banner. And it went to Jean, the first 5 star went to Jean. But then I was caught off guard because it was a double 5 star. So, of course, the second 5 star went to Zhongli. So yeah, f uh, level tr all f uh, triple 4 on Jean. And Noel, the uh, I just put the bell on Noel because I don't know. And I just put some spare uh, artifacts I had lying around. Actually, I think yeah, both of these used to belong to Ito, and I just put, maybe put extras. Uh, C three Noel, and four six three. And my underbuilt Rosar, yeah. Yeah, from here on out, it's very much like these kills. Are, these characters are like not really built at all. So physical damage, dragon spine spear. I just did it to get maybe some primos, uh, but alongside a quest, no artifacts. C four, two five two, and razor, sixteen seventy four. Oh yeah, I think I had like uh, maybe like um, spare artifacts on my razor. Maybe if like want to put, I just I just put them on him because why not. Doesn't have a goblet though. Crit rate uh, with C2. And yeah, Thoma. So yeah, I tried to build Thoma for Copium while uh, until I pulled Hu Tao. So I put a Favonius Lance on him. I think I remember this used to be. Uh, this actually. This Favonius Lance used to belong to Raiden until I started farming the catch. So what I did with the old Lance, I just put it on uh, Thoma. I couldn't remember, like, I think I remember trying to do the Emblem Severed Fate build for him until uh, Noblesse Oblige was also uh, proved to be a better build. But I just put uh, spare artifacts on him. I, I might build him at some point, you know? Like maybe build my Inazuma characters. C4 and 374, that's how I needed some Copium. Amber. Uh, Rust. Oh, actually, right now, as a recording, yeah, it's still the Kazuha banner, but but the Yoimiya banner is coming up. So, this is not a fully built Amber. I just need maybe like a placeholder for my Yoimiya. So these are the art. So this is, like what I'm gonna be using for my Yoimiya. Uh, nor uh, I'm gonna use Rust, an Amber. And so yeah, these are these are not supposed to be for um, Amber. These are supposed to be for Yoimiya. My hopefully I get Yoimiya. And I also did like maybe some calculations. I'll reach at least about 70 something crit rate because Yoimiya's uh, ascension passive gives her a uh, built in crit rate. And plus, the crit rate I gave, I'll be giving her a crit rate circlet for, for a bit more consistent damage. And I'll be st and because of that, uh, I have a bunch of good artifacts with crit rate, crit damage artifacts. I have about at least 90 crit damage, so my Yoi Mia can pretty much start like be you can start be uh, be played. So yeah, C2 Amber 111. Well, mostly these are this is for Yoi Mia, and I also want to uh, cons I also considered uh, wanting to build Yunjin uh, in the future. So I prepped uh, I've prepped her with uh, maybe a Favonius Lance and also some spare Husk of Opulent Dreams. I I think some. Uh, I think maybe like I think both the the flower and the feather used to belong to Ito, so I just put them on on Yunjin, a C1 Yunjin, and one 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 talents, cause yeah, I haven't started building yet. My Ningguang with the so here's the thing, I did not R5 my Dodaku tails during the Golden Apple Archipelago initial run back in 1.6 because 
I was a Genshin returning, and I didn't know that you could refine these all the way up to to R5 when you're given a free weapon during these types of events. But I only got one page from the event shop and put it in my Dodaku Tales, so now it's stuck at R2 forever. And it sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the I'm the one percent that at that, that kept their Dodako tails at refinement rank two. See, look, I have no. <laughs> oh man, this is like the, the the a rookie mistake I made, but thankfully I don't really have to use this on anyone because I'm not sure if this is like a good um uh, uh weapon for any catalyst DPS. No, I'm not sure. I don't even think uh it's gonna be used on Hazel. I don't think. Because I think I might as well just just use the Wid Sith, you know, because because why not? I think it's a better artifact than no, not artifact, <gasps> catalyst than the the Dodo -do -do Tail. So I don't have to, um, <gasps> make some people cry when they see my refinement rank two, permanently R two Dodo -do Tail on Ace. I wasn't trying to build my Ningguang really, but like it's like I don't know, I can't remember why, but I just like leveled up some art of an artifact or two. Cause why? I don't know why. 86 crit damage though. But a C4 and 114. And my Yanfei. So I think I also might consider building Yanfei at one point. I, I, I like her design and she, she looks cute. So yeah, I think so at least I'm reserving a Widsith and some a bunch of Crimson Witch of Flame artifacts. Uh, actually, this flower used to belong to Hu Tao, which is why I had the. Uh, the the pi the purple pyro cup because I had to make some space for this twenty nine crit damage maiden beloved flower so yeah <laughs> but yeah at least I have some spare artifacts lying around that had crit rate crit damage stats on them so at least maybe when I start out uh, when I start building my Yanfei it'll uh, pretty much be off to a good start. And I just gotta like maybe level this. I hope like maybe some of this uh the the fort stab stat will be a crit damage because it's stuck at 29. I'm stuck with a 29.5 crit damage HP flower on for my Yanfei. Oh yeah, and C6 and a one four four gets yeah C6 and my Mona. I actually got her in standard banner Favonius Codex. Yeah, I didn't really build her much, but I just see I just used her as a dummy to maybe hold uh, artifacts while I was like rebuilding my Aito to give him like the the full four piece heart of depth. Uh, this is not supposed to be Aito's uh, fla uh future uh, feather or something, but I think I might give this to Aito maybe when I get a J cutter and I can start swimming. Uh, no, not start, <laughs> not swimming. <laughs> like swapping out artifacts. So I get four piece heart of that and yeah. So I, I think you pretty much get where I am, right? You, you get where I'm going, right? C0, of course, 111. I don't really plan on building Mona at any time. And Chong Yun, uh, Favonius Great Sword, Energy Recharge. Yeah, not a lot to speak of. And also C6. And also Goro. Uh, I'm only the only reason I might want to consider building him because, yeah, he's an Inazuman. Cause he's, like I said, I want to build my Inazuma characters, because why not? Like, they're all Inazuma. So I will give him a Favonius Warbow to get him ready. And I heard that the Exile is a good um, uh, artifact set for Goro. It may miss out on, like, artifact, uh, the five-star scalings. But you're not really going to use him that much. I'm not sure how to explain this, but, like, he's not going to be used on-field that much. More of an off-field support. The only uh, five star here I have right now, done is like a crit, da crit rate, crit damage, just to activate that um, Favonius bow passive more consistently. So yeah, def defense, defense, crit rate, just for that support. Oh, and a uh, C1 Goro, uh, Kuki Shinobu, uh, Lion's Roar. I don't know, cause I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> crit rate, crit damage, HP, and. Um, extra healing bonus so at least there's a I leave I have a good star artifact for my Kuki Shinobu C1 Kuju Sara yeah it's not really built not really built obviously I just gave her maybe the fading twilight because I think I heard that the uh, the fading twilight from the 2.6 giveaway uh, was a was a good weapon for Kuju Sara I think C1 though and level 1 
and Fischl. Oh uh, yeah, we also we just unlocked the skin, the Raven bow. Cause I don't know. <laughs> like I might use Fischl maybe far into the future or maybe when I'm bored. And yeah, this is uh yeah I think I've maybe yeah uh, I have a decent startup for Fischl. 20 starting crit rate, 99.7 crit damage. So it we're not off to a bad start. I just don't plan to use. I don't really plan to use Fischl like uh, right for now. Maybe far into the future, or maybe when I'm bored, I maybe just build my Fischl because why not? Or maybe when she's actually really good in the future. Okay, so this Electro Cup, uh, I think I yeah, this also used to belong to my Raiden like a uh, long time ago. Eventually, uh, farmed enough to like swap out to this. C2, because, yeah, we got, a, I think, got another constellation to the event, because I already unlocked Fischl, uh, long ago. Shinyan, uh, Sack Greatsword, Artifacts. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm, I, I'm not gonna use, obviously, I'm not gonna use that, uh, on Shinyan. Because I'm just gonna use Shinyan as, like, maybe a dummy, as, like, a, uh, uh, character to, like, maybe hold the artifacts for now. Because, like, maybe when I uh, plan to rebuild my Barbara, I can maybe put Ocean Hued Clam on this. So I just put them all on my Shinyan for now. But yeah, C1 Shinyan. I'm not gonna build a healer Shinyan. It's just for dummy. It's just for it's just a dummy. It's just for holding artifacts, maybe a placeholder or something. Yeah, low invest I mean mostly in the far right. Uh pretty much characters I don't really build. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the that's pretty much like my Genshin account, uh as of um as of like July 21, 2022, it's been about a year, I think. Yeah, I think as of today, it's been all about almost exactly a year since 2.0 came out. So yeah, maybe I can, maybe this could be an annual thing. So maybe next year when like, who knows how many five stars I'll get. Maybe not a lot. Maybe less because, you know, I just reviewed my entire account here. But yeah, this is my entire Genshin account review. Uh... Yeah, like about a year into playing Genshin Impact actively. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, if you found it relaxing or something. Or maybe just li listen to my voice and try to visualize in your head like what I showed you. Yeah, or maybe I just told you the sub stats. But yeah, that's my, my that's, yes, that's gonna pretty much it for this video. So yeah, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.